guys. I know this video has been a long time coming, but I've had a few minutes and I thought I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to record for you guys right now, right this second. So here I am updating my channel for you guys. But um, first thing I wanted to say, and I know you guys may get tired of hearing it, but you will hear it a hundred more times, is thank you for everything you guys have been doing. Everything you guys have said has really truly touched my heart. So I really appreciate all of your support all of your messages and comments and everything. It's really, really great to know that I have all of you guys behind me. And it really does help me in times when I'm questioning things or not sure about what I'm doing. You guys are like my reinforcement. So thank you so much for that. I'm gonna kind of go back a little bit. I know some of you already know because you either follow me on Facebook or Twitter, but I'm going to share this for those who may come across the video who may not know. I'm currently featured in Prevention Magazine. Yay! I'm very excited about that. I'm going to actually show you guys because I have one here, of course. Hold on, I have to like pull this aside. Okay, there we go. But I'm actually on page 96, so if you go ahead to a grocery store, Walmart, Target, etc., pick one up. It's the March 2015 issues, and I'm on page 96, so definitely check that out. And I really hope that my story can change someone's life. You know, that was my whole reason of reaching out to the magazine and, you know, sharing it with them. And I'm very grateful that they found my story powerful as well and wanted to also help me in spreading that message of regardless of what you have going on, regardless of a diagnosis, if you want to do something about it, you can. And if you make that decision, then you will. So that's what I wanted to share with everyone first and foremost, is it's all about your mindset. There's no one who can, you know, tell you any different and there's no one who can do it for you. You have to make that decision and that choice yourself. So everything begins and ends with you. Truly it does. And I'm definitely a believer in that and a walking testimony of that. I'll never be able to forget that, how I felt hearing the doctor tell me that I'm no longer a diabetic and then asking me what he should share with others. <laughs> it's It was a surreal moment and I'll, I'll cherish that moment for the rest of my life, surely. And I really just can't stress it enough how much it means to take yourself and your health into consideration. We all have goals, we all have things we wanna achieve and we're going to, but we can't neglect our health in the meantime. We definitely have to put that in the front of everything we do, because what good is it to build something so great and you can't enjoy it and you have a short life expectancy or a diminished quality of life, you know, because, you know, you're not up to par, you don't feel good, you know? So I think you guys see where I'm going with this. So definitely put your health first. That's the bottom line of what I'm trying to say. Few of you know I can be long-winded, and this video could be an hour, but I'm going to go to the next thing. So the next thing I wanted to do is answer the questions that you guys sent in. I promised that I would do that, and I finally have a second to do so. The first thing was, how did the magazine come about? As I kind of touched on a second ago, I reached out to the magazine, and my reason was because I wanted to inspire someone else. And then they contacted me and said, they loved it and they wanted to do it. So I got a chance to actually do the photo shoot. Everyone was amazing and we all had a really great time. So that's how that came about. The next question was, was that really my refrigerator? Yes, actually it, it, it is my refrigerator. Um, you know, I did kind of highlight things that I used the most because I wanted to really show the accuracy of what I used, you know, majority of the time to help me keep track of my calories and cut back on certain things. So I wanted to showcase what I actually use, you know, the most. So yes, it is my refrigerator and it is stuff that I actually use on a daily basis. And I know a lot of you saw the big gallon <laughs> jug of apple cider vinegar in the background. I didn't always use the gallon size jug. I just started doing that a couple months ago. But apple cider vinegar has been a staple in my weight loss and you know clean eating routine. I do it twice a day 
in the morning when I first get up and before I go to bed. It helps to cut down the carbs that I eat. It's a natural potassium source, so it lowers the sodium levels, which will help with high blood pressure, numerous things. It's just something to have. So if you haven't used it or don't currently have it, get some. And if you had some and you ran out, go get some more. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Let me see. I think there was one more question somewhere on here. If I come across it, I'll come back to it. If I forgot your question, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Okay. <laughs> but um, okay. Next here was, uh, I wanted to share with you guys my current goal. Because I know some of you did inquire, was I going to stay at my current weight? Or if I wanted to keep, you know, moving forward with my goal. And yes, my goal is to drop another 30 to 35 pounds. Some people have said, okay, that might be a little too much. And, you know, I don't think so for my height. I'm only five foot two. So I think dropping another 35 pounds would be okay for me. My goal is to get down to a size eight. I definitely don't want to aim for smaller than a size eight. That eight ten would be perfect. I went from a size 24 to currently I'm a 12, 14. So I'm really, you know, grateful for that accomplishment. But I definitely want to keep going and not put my own personal goals on the back burner because that's one of the easiest things to do, especially when you have lost a significant amount of weight. You kind of get so excited about the achievement that you already have that you forget that there was a next step or a next part of your journey to get to. So I don't want to get too excited about what I've done in the past because I want to focus on you know, going to the next phase and doing what I need to do there. So that's what I'm going to be working on this year. I know that the rate of which the weight will drop is going to be different. And when I started noticing that right away, I got a little frustrated because I was used to the numbers just dropping, dropping, and then it kind of slowed down and I was like, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. But I realized because my body composition has changed, I don't weigh the same. So exercises I was doing in the past simply aren't cutting it anymore. <laughs> I could do the same amount of laps and things I did in the past and hardly even break a sweat. So I need to definitely increase my cardio, increase the amount of times I work out, and I definitely have to step it up on my strength training. That's one area that I haven't, I do it, but I haven't really fully committed to it and taken it to the next step like I need to. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on in the next week or so. So that's yeah. that. The next thing that I wanted to... Uh, to you guys about is the program so most of you know prosperous to yours health and wellness program and my clients as individuals are amazing and their results are equally amazing they've been doing a great job and with the program the main focus is teaching everyone how to take control of their own health and we do that by introducing clean eating, what it means, how to do it, and how to transition into it. It's definitely not going to be just cutting everything all at once, cold turkey. No one is going to achieve long-term results doing that. You're not going to be happy doing that. And the goal is to build a lifestyle. It's definitely not a diet. It's definitely not about something to lose weight for a little bit and then you go right back to the same thing. It's about making the commitment to put health first all the time. And everything that we do is a habit. Even down to when we go to the grocery store, 90% of us get the same groceries each time we go to the grocery store. So once you actually build a habit that's healthier for you, it's easier to maintain over time because it's not something you're only doing within your mind I'll do it for 30 days or I'll do it for a week or two so I'll drop a few pounds and then go right back to what you did before. It's about really making that that step and saying consciously okay I'm going to do something different. I'm going to get the results but then after the results are achieved I'm still going to continue so that I don't 
fall in line with everyone else getting different types of diseases and failed organs and you know et cetera et cetera so that's what this program is about and that's pretty much what I'm going to dedicate my life to there's numerous things in the works that kind of branch off from the program but I'm always going to be health coaching I can definitely say that wholeheartedly and it feels great to even be able to say that but I, I know that this is my calling this is where I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be helping those around me to make a difference in their life and to inspire them and to give them the education that they need to get the job done so I'm definitely looking forward to where the rest of the year is going there's a few things in the works right now that I can't wait to tell you guys about and you know just like before with the magazine you know I have to uh, have to wait and waiting to announce that I was in prevention magazine was a task <laughs> because I was just so excited but I wanted to you know just let everything be done and get everything set up how it was supposed to be and only you know a few people around me knew about it ahead of time but when I was able to share it with all of you guys the response was just amazing you guys I really I knew you guys would be excited about it but the outpour of text and phone calls and everything that came in I, I definitely did not expect that and I felt really overwhelmed and I think um, actually I did do a short little video that night thanking you guys because I just I just really did feel like the love and appreciation from all of you guys and it just it was just amazing and that kind of leads me to something else that I wanted to to do in this video there's a few people around me in my network who I feel very close to I share information with them they share information with me and they've supported the program my dream what I want to do and they really do want to help get the word out there about health and wellness in their community and support everything that I'm trying to do with my clients as well so I'm actually going to take a second to individually you know shout them out so the first person is actually my life coach and her name is Shanee Johnson and she is amazing I love her whenever I'm kind of I'm never unsure about what I'm supposed to do but sometimes you know in the back of my mind I start questioning well I know I want to help everybody what if they're not receptive and all these things that used to come into my mind you know a long time ago it's really it's one thing to change physically but you have to constantly and consciously continue to change you know mentally as well as physically and she's she's amazing for keeping me on track of everything I need to do and being that voice when I need that extra push and sometimes it might be two pushes I'm just <laughs> you know just being honest but she's she's that all the way I absolutely absolutely love her and Jerry Jeffries he's a great friend of mine and he actually when I very first started with the program he just gave a donation to the program didn't say can you do this for me or anything he just gave from his heart to help me get everything started with the program and I really I will never forget that I have no doubt that I'm on the path of where I need to get to and he will always be a part of the journey not even if he never you know does anything else but just because in the beginning when I really really needed someone just to believe in what I was doing he was that very first person so I will always treasure that moment forever so I'm definitely thank you Jerry a <laughs> um, couple other people who have just been in my ear my friend Chris definitely gonna say hello to you hi Chris <laughs> I know he's gonna probably be mad that I'm saying his name on camera but I'm pretty sure he'll get over it but um yeah my trainer Myron definitely oh, okay hold on think something is happening to my computer here I have to 
to see what's going on. Okay. Okay, I think I'm back. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my trainer, Myron Dent of Indentable Bodies, he's the owner and lead trainer there. And he's he's great too. And I, I remember I didn't know much at all about what type of movements do what. And I was trying to work on like different parts of the body. I was like worried about my arms and which I still am. He was giving me uh, different tips on what workouts will work best for me. And then I wasn't always in the gym, I was at home. So different routines that I can actually use while I was at home, which I think was really critical to me because I felt uncomfortable going to the gym. So I said, even though I'm eating clean, I know I can't neglect strength training and you know working out to some extent because you have to work out, you have to strength train to build muscle, you don't want to lose muscle, and building lean muscle helps to burn fat. So I said I'm going to have to incorporate all of this, but somehow do it at home as well. So he gave me the full outline on how to do that, and it worked. So thank you very much for that. We actually still, you know, work together, and we still, you know, gives great tips and I'm helping him with his clients as well. So it kind of turned into not just him helping me, but we're actually working together. So that's what it's all about. So that was actually a bonus, you know, to be able to change your own life and then kind of transition into, you know, teaching others about it. So that was a great thing. Also, I want to, uh, let me see here. Made an O. Oh. I have to say this without even looking at my paper, my mother. My mom is so amazing. She's, uh, I don't even really know what to say when it, when it comes to my mom. Like she tells me all the time like how proud she is of me and how she's seen how much I've changed as a person. You know, a lot of people can see if you've seen me in the past, say, okay, she lost weight. But it's really not just about losing weight. Like, I found myself as a person. I came into a whole new confidence. I'm in a whole new career. I'm into literally a whole different world. The way I think about life, the way I am, everything is completely different. It's, it's com definitely not the same. And she's supported me every step of the way and encouraged me and, you know, been you know, awesome, so, yay mom, <laughs> I'm going to show her this video, and she's probably going to clown me for that, but she'll be okay also, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's, I think I pretty much covered the main things that I wanted to tell you guys, I told you this video was going to get a little long, so you guys are going to have to bear with me, I'll figure out a way one day, maybe, <laughs> how to shorten these videos up, but, I know they're kind of what have been in the past kind of further out than I wanted to. My goal is to talk to you guys once a week, so I'm definitely going to start making that commitment and actually sticking to it. And I'm going to be sharing uh, some health tips. I'm putting together my newsletter, and I'm going to be sending out the info on how you guys can sign up for that and submit your email address. So all the health tips that I write, articles on my blog, you know, etc., it's going to be exclusive for those who sign up for the email newsletter so um, definitely gonna get the info out for that you can all check out prosperousofyours.com and you know go to the website to check out the blog section or if anyone you know you know needs help transitioning into clean eating disease management you know just the pantry makeover you know anything or just have a general question just have them contact me on the website or email me maria at prosperousofyours.com and I'll definitely help them, you know, and get something going for them, you know, as best as we can, even if it's just a question. They don't want to do the full program. That's fine, too. I have no problem answering questions. So my inbox is open at any time. And like I said, on the website, you can contact me on the contact form there also. And one other thing I want to share with you guys is something that I've been using. And I think it's absolutely amazing. It's the African Black Soft Soap. I think I said that right. The African Soft Black Soap. Nikki's Natural, okay? I want you guys to see this because you guys will see this 
in stores everywhere very soon. And I personally am going to make sure <laughs> that that happens because that's how much I love this product. And if you guys know me, you guys know how funny I am about, well, okay, almost everything. I'll admit it. But I really love, love, love this product because I've been looking for something that I can use on my face that doesn't over dry my skin but helps me to keep you know my pores clean and I've been having some breakout issues and everything so I started using this soap I actually found her online and I went to the website and checked out a couple of the products and I said well I'll start with this one and see you know how it works a natural soap that I can use on my face so I've used it and within a few days I actually saw improvement and I know you guys can't really see too much on camera, but I had a lot of breakout all on the side of my face, on both sides actually. And it was getting crazy and I wasn't sure what was causing, you know, the breakout. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try this soap and see how it works. And it's actually been doing a great job of keeping my skin feeling clean and clear and a big difference I should have actually taken a before picture don't know why I didn't do that I usually you know think about stuff like that but for this issue I didn't but I doubt I'll need one now because <laughs> this stuff works that good so if you guys you know get a chance you could check out her website too and she's amazing so that's a bonus the product works and you know the owner is great too so it's Nikki's naturals hb.com and you can actually uh, find a link to her site on my website as well. I actually reached out to her personally and said, you know, I have to work with you. I have to spread the word about your product and not just for myself, but for my clients. I wanted to teach them wellness from the inside out. And the things we put on our skin actually affect our bodies. Because if you put it on your skin, it's gonna eventually get into your bloodstream. So everything that you use, everything that you eat, it all has an effect, you know, on the body. So that's part of the program as well. So I said, you know, this will be perfect. I need to, you know, tell people about, you know, what you're doing. And, you know, she was amazing and receptive and, you know, it worked out. So if you guys, again, I'll show it to you. Not sure if you can kind of see it. And I'm having some camera issues. I noticed the color keeps going in and out. But again, it's Nikki's Naturals hb.com is where you can you know get this from so I definitely want you guys to check it out she's got an array of hair and skincare products and yeah definitely do that now today <laughs> and um, yeah I think yeah definitely a special thanks to Tommy Burns he also was a another person who supported the program and made a donation and also want to thank Mark Milhouse. I know he's going to be very surprised <laughs> that I'm shouting him out, but there's certain things that you can only receive from certain individuals at certain points in time in your life. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit, but at a time when I didn't really take accountability for my own actions, as far as my health was concerned, I saw his example and how hard he went in the gym, how he talked about it, how he referenced it, you know, and just that dedication. And it really made me reflect on myself for the lack thereof at that time. And sometimes you really have to, to look at yourself that way and really have to say, okay, I need to step it up. And it needs to be said that way. So even though he never said in a rude way to me, you need to step it up, but having that dedication in his own life and saying, yeah, you can do it. And, you know, being like a push, you know, that it meant a lot. And it's little things like that, that go a long way. And you never know how you can inspire someone else or how you could be that spark for someone else. So thank you, Mark, for that. Thank you all very much. And a special thanks to Mo's Heroes, which is a nonprofit organization that helps homeless veterans. They're doing a great job. And I'm looking forward to uh, 
seeing the great things that their organization is going to be doing this year as well. We've been working together to spread, you know, awareness. And I'm also going to be helping as far as the health and wellness aspect, of course. <laughs> you know, so we're, me and my team, we're going to, you know, take over the world and we're going to help, you know, everybody that we can because we're coming from a great place. You know, we all have different areas in which we're doing it. But it all comes together, you know, in the end. And that's what it's about. Actually not thinking about yourself, but thinking about how you can make a difference, you know, in the world and in the oh, lives good. of those around you. Thank you me. guys again for everything. Email me, Maria com, And um, I will definitely be talking to you guys soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.